Luke and Todd from the Scoundrels Cantina. Hey guys, what's up? And today we're gonna do a review on the Cult Peacemaker Caliber 45. Um, this is actually the replica of the gun, it doesn't work, it's a collector's item. And we paid 50 euros for it. It's made by a company named Denix. This is how the box looks, they're from Spain. So you get a picture of the gun in the front and on the back, it's just blank. So yeah, this is it on the box. We're gonna open it up and show you what's inside. So first off, we get a las armas más famosas del mundo. <laughs> we get a, we get a like a catalog. I don't know what they're selling, and they have a ton more on their uh, website. We have some pistols here. Yeah, you have some pistols. You have some World War II pistols. That I can see the Colt 45. There's the Luger. There's the P38. There's some muskets also. They also sell cannons <laughs> and stuff like that. And on the back, yeah, we have a bunch of swords and axes and all. So yeah, this is it on the catalog. Um, but that's not what we're interested in. We're interested in the gun itself. Just get it out. Voila, there it is. This is the Colt 45 Peacemaker, or the Single Action Army, whatever you want to call it. I mean, it's it's the same thing. This is the shortest barrel there is on it. There's also a longer version, of course, you know, like this, and then there's like this, and of course like that. So, <laughs> depending on what you like, the grips are uh, made of wood, of course, they're real wood. Attached by these two screws, and the gun itself, the rest of the gun, of course, is metal. So, I'm going to show you just a little bit about it. So, of course, you got your uh, talking. <laughs> of course, on the real Peacemaker, is actually four clicks. The first one is the safety, the second one is to load it, as you can see. Yep, and there you go, you eject your bullets like that. Uh, the third one, I'm not sure what it is, and then there's the fourth, that's the, that is ready to fire, and you just fire it and that's it. So it's a single action, meaning you have to decock it, or recock it every time you fire, so just like that. The reason it has four of those is because it, it kind of spells cult, if you get what I mean. <laughs> yeah, it's like C-O-L-T. Yeah. So it's like that. But anyways, um, it can hold six rounds. Of course, this cannot fire because the barrel has been molded from inside. Uh, it has a hole there, and it's pretty deep, like it goes in through here, and then the rest of the barrel is molded in. So yeah, um, the trigger is heavy when you fire it. But of course, because it cannot fire, it doesn't matter. It's just a collector's item. So, yeah, it's a really nice metal. Um, it's kind of shiny a bit. It's not stainless. It's not steel, but it still looks awesome for a collector's gun. You know, it, it would be really cool if you just kind of displayed it on the wall and stuff. So yeah. Anyways, um, if you don't know how to load the Peacemaker, it's just basically like this. So take it on the second cock. Open this thing up, and then as you can see, there's six holes for the bullets. And by this, as you can see, it's spring loaded down there. Yep. So, what you have to do is actually just push your casings out, the old casings, of course. So, do it like six times, and then you're ready to go uh, to put the new casings in, the bullets in. So, first one goes in there, the rotate, and then the second. And Voila. So some people load five, some people load six, depending on what they like. And yeah. Um, it's also kind of weathered, if you, if you see around it right there. Yeah, it has some black spots on it, like it's been used heavily. Uh, yeah. Same there on the sight. This is actually your rear sight, all of this, and this is your front sight. I also like the weathering on the front sight there. As you can see, there's some black there. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure if you can see that by the shadow, but it is there and it's really nice it has some trademarks there right there on the or you can zoom in there yep there we go it's like bka 98 so yeah that's it by the way you don't need a license for this because it's a collector's item and it doesn't shoot so yeah that should be it on the review and i'm going to show you how it works like pretend works <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to show you how it pretend works. Just imagine this is a real one. This is how it would shoot because it's a replica, a really well done one. 
So this is how it go. We just pull it every time and. Anyways guys, this is it on the video and we just want to mention there's this game that we're playing It's, it's, a, it's a gunslinger game <laughs> Yeah, um, anyways it's called uh, Fistful of Frags and it's a freaking awesome game it, it is nothing too special, the graphic is nothing too special But it's such, uh, it's, it's a lot of fun to play, especially if you're playing with friends and stuff like that So if you guys want to play with us, um, contact us on Facebook The links will be in the description below so you can play on Steam It's also free to play so that's a big plus to it so yeah guys, anyways, remember, God is awesome all the time, he loves you, have an awesome day, and stay safe out there guys, you good slingers.